Coffee Talk is sponsored by Mr. Roof. A little coffee talk. Well, back to school shopping is already starting for some people, Jordan. Man, I, again, I can't believe it. And yeah. the National Retail Federation, they report that 55% of school and college shoppers are already getting supplies for the new school year. Even though I do understand that for college, a lot of colleges mm -hmm. will start, you know, earlier than your typical school. So I do understand that though. The report says summer deals from major retailers in July encourage consumers, of course, to start shopping early. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, and I want to say I Googled okay. um, like good good back to school shopping apps. There are some fascinating apps out there really? that can help you if you really wanted to save and go through the aggravation. Oh. But you don't want to have to go to a million different places. And right. And you know, uh, this year they've actually extended that um, the tax holiday. Yeah. So it used to just be a weekend in the beginning of yeah. August. Now it starts on July 30th, goes through yeah. August 8th or 9th. And they've also raised the limit for what you can buy. So they raised it from $75 in terms of clothing to $500. And that makes a big difference. Huge. Because they jack up the prices when they just Ex sort of Exactly. So there's like clever ways that I've you can save a little bit. But no, it's fine. It's good. Cynical is always good. It's like a healthy <laughs> dash of cynicism. But new loose leaf paper. That's the takeaway. Yes. We love new loose leaf paper. And new pens. We'll be new right pens. back. New pens. That's a good one.